sister, um, Natalie Payne. So we're down at Sail Jojo, their home of karate, where they live 24-7. I think they live here more than their own home. Um, I just want you to kind of introduce yourself, uh, Ellie, and you know, say who you are, your age, what you do, those kind of things, and your achievements so far, and just give us a bit of feedback, who, what you know, who we're talking to. Hi, I'm Ellie, I'm 14. I am English, British, and British international champion. I'm currently fifth in Europe for team, and just been selected for the World Championships in Chile for team and individual. Perfect. Okay, so I know you spend a lot of time down here at the dojo um, and you have lots of massages, you know, me sponsoring you, um, helping you with um, muscle recovery and manipulation, those kind of things, fixing you up. How, a few questions here. So how many hours a week do you kind of spend training? Um, in summer, I train quite like four to five in a day, but when I'm in school, I will train Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. And I will also go to the gym in that time as well. Okay, so it's lots of early starts, lots yeah. of finishes. And you find the balance between school and obviously training. Yeah. Do you find it hard? Or do no, I find it all right, to be fair. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Fab, okay. Do you um, use any kind of products or supplements to help um, you? We use a lot of protein, um, protein shake, like Herbalife and protein bars. Good stuff. Right, we've got a few really um, question, different questions here. When you're doing your karate, and obviously you're doing kata, you don't do the kumite. No. But with your kata, I know we don't want to tell the whole world, but what is secretly your favourite kata to perform? Paparen. Paparen. <laughs> yeah. See, that's your sister's favourite. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why? Because it seems to be um, a bit of a throughout the dojo, you know. I don't know. I think it's just one of them katas, like, it's not a hard kata to perform, but it's like a good kata to like show off like your sass and your flair and stuff like that. It has a bit of everything in it. How long does a kata roughly take to perform, would you say now? About three minutes. About three minutes? Yeah. yeah. How About many the same as a fight. it got in it? Uh, God, it's got well a load. Over right. Um, so it's yeah. quite a lot for you to remember as an athlete yeah. as well. You know, you've got a lot of things going on, there's a lot of pressure around you. Um, people say it's hard to get to the top, but when you're at the top it's even harder to well, stay there. Um, so where do you see yourself in the future? Ellie? Well, I mean, I would like to have a world or European medal and definitely like to make it to the 2024 Olympics, 100% like to get there. Fab. What was the, the last competition you went to when you did your team and you won? Um, a little bit about that. Europeans, that was my first cap for England and I competed in the team which is 14 to 17 and we came fifth, we just missed out on bronze and that was like the best experience because obviously it's your first trip and to get through that many rounds is just like not like something that usually happens, but to get that fight was it was amazing. And how was it for you, Nat, watching your sister? I there? mean, I was emotional wreck because <laughs> uh, I've been there before, like going for bronze, bronze and like gold medals, and the pressure is immense. So like I think I was feeling the pressure for her as much as she was feeling it as well. But it was good to see, yeah, her, obviously get that medal at yeah. the end and uh, come off to Tommy. Brilliant. Okay, so we've obviously I know you said take a lot of supplements for your protein and healthy uh, meal replacements and things like that. Talking about your massages, um, I know look after your yourself when you you know you're competing during the week and stuff. But yeah. if typically if, you know how many massages would you say you you, um, you feel you need or up to a competition I'd probably say two or three to make sure yeah. like I'm not getting injured and keeping my muscles like relaxed. Yeah. On a normal, maybe like two to make sure that all my muscles are like ready to be prepared for what I need to be able to do. And would you recommend um, other people, other athletes to have massages? Do yeah. It's part of the package or do you? Yeah, I definitely think every athlete should be able to get massages, especially leading up to competition. So you can feel all the benefits. Yeah. I think it massively prevents injury and also it allows you to train harder, quicker, because if you're not getting them regular massages, your body's just seizing up constantly. So the next day isn't going to be as good as the day before. Yeah. So it's so important. Perfect. Brilliant. Well, that um, sums up these two wonderful <laughs> athletes. Um, I hope to uh, obviously continue working with you two guys and um, you know looking after your nutrition, your uh, massaging and getting to where you need to be. So uh, thanks for coming in today. Thank you. And, uh, okay. Thank you. We'll uh, look forward to the future. Yeah.